It's me, Renee. I'm back. So, this is the social distancing... Let me just double check the name. Uh, social distancing escape tag. It was created by uh, book name, the book mermaid. I'll link it in the voodoo, of course. And I was tagged personally by Anis An Annalisa Ely. So, yay, that was so nice. It's just so nice, personally tagged. After being on Goodreads, Goodreads on Booktube for a year almost, I haven't really been personally tagged. So, yeah, being personally tagged, that was really fun. And yeah, this tag also looks very fun. Seems very fun. And uh, yeah, if you see this and you haven't seen Annalisa's videos, check her out. She makes nice videos. I really like her uh, book taste. And uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so this, you might be thinking like, what's going on? So since the name of this tag is called Social, Social Distancing Escape Book Tag, Half the idea is that you're supposed to film it somewhere else, outside your house, outside of your normal place. So it could be just in your garden, it could be in your park, it's just not it's not in your house really. So where I am actually is, I'll just give it a little tour. This is actually my cabin. My cabin, I say. It's my family's cabin. We've had it for like actually 73 years, I think. 72, 73 years, yeah, it's quite some time now. So it's quite old, but it's very nice. It's full of history. I really enjoy it. And right now it's very nice and summery. It's this weekend has been very warm and nice. Uh, if, I think it's around like 16, 17 degrees. So that's kind of hard to understand, like, because some people use Celsius, some people use Fahrenheit. We are Celsius, so if you don't understand that in the States. But at least, to me, it's warm. I suppose that's all you need to know, really. It's warm and nice. It's a nice breezy day, and the sun is out, and it's just very nice. It's very nice. So, yeah, let's get on with it. Oh, yeah, also, I'm just going to do that, so there's a bit less of a shine. Because if I did like that, it would just be too much bad. Yeah. Just do like this. And you, fun. Point of view, really. So, the first question. How are you? How are you feeling? So, since it's uh, uh, it's connected to, like, this tag, so I suppose the idea is, like, how are you feeling in these corona times? So, I suppose I could just ask, say, generally. And generally, I'm fine, really. Um, as, as I would say a lot of people, I suppose I can't really say a lot of people, but... Um, I'm, as I said before, I'm a typical bookworm, love to read, so like, for me, uh, if it's winter, summer, it doesn't really matter, I, in the winter I take my book out inside, in summer I take my book book outside, and I don't really, I'm not that social, I don't do that much stuff, so that stuff uh, are closing in, are closing, I don't really care, it doesn't really matter to me, so that side of it, it's not really a big deal for me, I do miss going to the cinema, and I do miss going to the library, and I do miss actually going to places just randomly. But all in all, I'm good. I'm good. Also, specifically today, I'm great. It's just a wonderful weather. It's so nice, so beautiful. I'm loving it. I just finished a nice book. I just started listening to a good book, and yeah, can't complain really. Can't complain. So yeah, I suppose people have had it worse. How has the pandemic, question two, I suppose I should just be clear on that. How has the pandemic affected your reading? Um, well, first, in the beginning, it didn't really affect me. I, in the beginning, very beginning, I didn't really think that much about it. I just, it took some time before I un understood how serious it was. Uh, and then, so like, maybe in the end of March, my reading got like, I didn't really want to read anything. I just, a uh, very mood reader, I just read one sentence here, one sentence there. Half a book, one chapter of a book, or I started every book I have and I didn't really want to read anything, but I wanted to read something. So it's like, you want to read everything and you want to read nothing. It's impossible, really, that situation. So, yeah, uh, so there were some weeks where I didn't like, I was, I was about to say, I didn't read much. Some weeks where I just read like one or two books, so I read less, 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 I read less than four. Though I know some people will read one or two books uh, normally, so 
yeah. Uh, I shouldn't really complain that on that way. Uh, but then uh, there's some weeks when I got my mojo back that I read a lot. Uh, but then some weeks where I've been reading less. So it's kind of been like a valley, valley, like a wave of up and down of some great weeks where I just read all the good books and I'm just loving it, enjoying it. And some weeks where I'm just like, nah, I don't know what to read. But I want to read. But I don't want to read. So, yeah. Um, I suppose I think that's kind of what everyone has been feeling. Maybe someone has been feeling no, not to read at all. I'm not sure. But, yeah. Let's move on. There's a lot of questions here, so I'm just going to move on. First thing you want to do when things open up. Actually, stuff has actually been opening up here in Norway. Oh, I didn't say before. I'll just be new. If this is your first video for me, or if you don't, didn't know, I'm actually Norwegian. Yes, I do booktube in English, but I'm Norwegian. Uh, so yeah, I live in Norway. I'm not like Norwegian American, like with uh, my grandparents came over from Norway. No, no, I'm Norwegian. Um, so yeah. Uh, so we, yeah, as I said, uh, we were actually we are actually one of the few countries who have done lots of good stuff with. Done lots of good stuff. Like our fertility rate is very low, so that's really great. We've been getting praise for all over the world for having low fatality rates and stuff. Fatality rates? Maternity rates? No. Dead rate? Lots of few, few people die here in Norway of, of the sickness. But yeah, um, but yeah, actually, we actually opened up cinemas a week ago, two weeks ago. But of course, they're half capacity. It can be opened up normal. Uh, and uh, also, some things are starting to open up that weren't before. And yeah, like now, like for a long time, you couldn't have like any concerts or anything because um, it was like you would gather between people. Now you can have concerts, but they have to be like 50 people and not more. So you can have small concerts, but not more. So that's kind of nice. Although I don't really go to have my concerts, it doesn't really bother me that much. Uh, so yeah, I, I can actually go to cinema now. Uh, and it's some sort of eye opening. But I still like, it's still like. I'm still feeling like since there's not any cure yet, and since I have a friend who has a very bad immune system, and my, I actually for the moment I'm living with my dad, and he has he's in a risk risk group because of his not ideal health. So I'm still thinking I'm, I'm thinking I actually won't go to cinema before before like before there's a cure before like maybe yeah not won't go to places and um for the time being yet. Uh, but yeah, once stuff is completely normal, or more or less normal, I want to go to cinema, as I kind of hinted, hinted at there. And there were lots of movies that came out this year, or came out, were supposed to come out this, this year, and I was looking forward to. The Eternals, well, that's now pushed to next year, but yeah. And then there's, I kind of want to see, uh, I kind of want to see um, that Marvel, uh, uh, Marvel movie with them. Um, um, uh, Johnson, uh, oh, what's her name again? I don't remember her name, but yeah, uh, that, that, like, the Rus Russian, uh, spy movie, can't want to see it, don't have to see it, can't want to see it, and then, I suppose, lots of more, I'm just blanking out at the moment, but, yeah, I'm not gonna, so I'll probably do that, and also, for some reason, even though I don't do that often, I'm missing go to restaurants, even though I don't do that so often. But kind of, I suppose, kind of like want to go to restaurants or cafes. And yeah, also like I miss just going to places just to impulsively look at stuff because now I feel like you kind of have to go. To, if you're going to a store, you kind of have to know. Okay, I need eggs, I need milk, I need this. You can't just go to a store and just buy whatever. You can't just touch everything. You have to know what you want. And I like to just be impulsive. And, Figure stuff out when I'm in the store. So, yeah. And um, other than that, yeah, I suppose that's more or less covered that question. Uh, has the pandemic made you more or less creative? I would say neither in a way. Um, uh, I'm creative, I've always been creative, I would say. I suppose you could say everyone who was, makes videos are creative, but then again, not everyone probably is in the same way, but yeah. Um, I haven't really been that creative in the way that I were years ago. Like years ago, I wrote short stories because I love to read, to, to 
to write. I haven't really done that lately. Um, but other than that, I haven't really done that much. Like, I suppose a few months, a few months ago, last week I did some painting. I painted some uh, cups. For some reason, I think cups is wrong. But cups is a word in English. Yes, it's cups. Cup cups. Yeah, cups. It is. You do, like, at first you think, like, oh, English, no problem. And then you start doing videos. And, like, you start second guessing all your word choices because, like, no, is that the right word? It sounds weird in my head. It sounds right or wrong when I say it out loud. Then I look at the video dictionary and I think, oh, it's right. So, yeah. Um, digression there. Uh, but yeah, uh, I also I also did a tag. I created a tag in April, April, so that was after the corona and stuff. And um, that was the Black Adder book tag. I link it in Jubilee, and I created that one. I suppose since it's based on something, it's not completely creative, but there's nothing new under the sun. So yeah, um, so yeah, all in all, I would say neither. Like I was creative before. I wouldn't say I've been more creative after the pandemic, but I can't really say I've become less. I'm thinking I haven't really hasn't really changed that much. Uh, I suppose maybe the way like it's changed in some ways in like I've done creative ways like I as I said I painted some cups last week and I haven't really painted anything in years so that's I took up creating it again something that way. But yeah, if it's been more creative. Even though it's not that creative, I'm not sure. And like the cups, well, not to brag brag about myself, not to go down about myself, but like I wouldn't really say it was that um, groundbreaking. Like I just like did initials of the people I was giving the cups to, and then some small figures at uh, at the at the other places on the cup. So yeah, I don't know. Moving on, shall we? Has your reading plans changed from earlier in the reading in the, in the reading year? I suppose that could be said as well. In a year till now, um, no, not directly. I mean, as I do, as people, as lots of readers do, I generally I con continually find new books to put, put in my TBR. So in that way, there's new books I want to read. Um, are there new books from this year in order to read? I'm not quite sure. Uh, but how much plans changed? I don't really think they've changed that much. And at least, as you said, she didn't really want to read anything too heavy. And normally, I don't really read stuff that's too heavy anyway, really. Uh, so, yeah, that hasn't really changed that much. Uh, there, was, there was actually a time when uh, I actually decided to uh, listen to a lot of uh, contemporaries and a lot of people see them that they, they just want to exist, escape so they do like fantasy binge and stuff but, like I kind of wanted to read a lot of contemporaries I did some rereading I suppose maybe it's been more of comfort reading this year but then again has it been more of comfort reading this year than last year I did some rereading last year as well yeah I don't know answers difficult I'm just gonna move on then the next one, blah, blah, blah. what character uh, would you want to be quarantined with? Yeah, this is interesting because kind of obviously I read a lot. There's a lot of fun book characters I like, enjoy. So choosing one, that's difficult. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm just gonna not think about it too much because yeah, as I said, there could be a lot of choice of this one actually. I'm actually gonna go with Sue Simon or Susanna Simon from the Maid Medea too. Yeah, coming old style. I see like a lot, a lot of time people ask of stuff. I go to like the cure the cure the pure the the pure the like uh, the root of stuff like the my old oldest fan of like I suppose they're just so indebted indebted in me. They're so inebit they're so there's such a part of me that I kind of in the middle, think of those mm, old style panels, really. But yeah, from me from the manager by Ben Carrot, because Sue's, she's, uh, she knows a lot of stuff. She's uh, sassy. She's interesting. She 
And she also shoots a mediator, uh, as kind of uh, hinted at and in title, so that you can talk to ghosts. So, like, if there's any ghosts for Uneba, you can talk to them as well and see what they think. And that way you get more interactions and stuff. And yeah, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, quoting whatever, I think that will be fun. I think that will be very fun. Then the next question is How has the weather been? Yeah, um, sometimes uh, I suppose maybe I should watch the creative uh, creators tag because sometimes the creators tag uh, the creator tag is like it's more elaborated elaborate because like this question like how's what have been so are you talking about from like beginning of March are you talking about lately I mean it's about all the way because yeah um the I suppose depends also like where you live I suppose maybe the creator is from LA or something like a place where there's only one weather but here you know at least here for me the weather changes so like in the earlier it was cold it was rainy it was it wasn't snowy but it was like sloppy and or sloppy 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 rain and stuff and that lasted until like april and then actually we got a week in april that was sunny and nice we got sunburned in april so it was kind of not fun but it was not that fun but like it wasn't as it wasn't like seriously sunburned but yeah uh, and then in may it was co- got cold again and then yeah and then like for the 7th of may like just last week two weeks ago it was kind of cold that was no fun rainy and stuff as it was i think it was raining like more or less all over nowhere that week and now it's on again so yeah it changes and luckily since it's beginning to be more summer because it's june june it's getting warmer and sunnier and yeah well, the weather changes according to the uh, seasons really i don't really know what else to say about that it hasn't really been any lightning or, fo- or thunder or anything like that so yeah let's go move on i suppose fun well, easy question to have there but yeah um what has been your quarantine go to snack yeah Actually, it seems like a lot of people have been snacking uh, during this quarantine. They're making some of the some people start making cakes. They're making Danish cakes, etc., etc. Or they're starting to buy lots of snacks. Honestly, I haven't really done one. Like, I haven't really eaten anything specific. Really, I've I suppose maybe I've eaten a bit more chocolate than before, but I don't really think that much more. And I can't really say either that. Uh, that it's like been just one chocolate it's just and also yeah generally i i, I like a lot of chocolate a lot, a lot of candy so i actually generally just kind of mix it up i don't really eat one thing all the time i i worried or i vary on what i buy and eat so yeah i don't really have an answer for you here uh, i suppose i could link some uh, I could link some fun Norwegian chocolates down below, where you can buy them in IKEA if you want. Other than that, um, I suppose also uh, actually it was actually time in January, no, in March, yeah, in March, very early on. It was like I need chocolate. We don't really have anything in the house, so I end up making it. I suppose if you're thinking like making it, Renee, you're making chocolate. Isn't that difficult and advanced? Well, I suppose you can probably do the advanced and difficult. But I did it in the easy way that my sister taught me years ago. So you just... So yeah, you just take uh, cocoa powder. You take uh, you take powdered, uh, powdered sugar. And then you take uh, margarine or butter. It doesn't really matter which one. Mix it together in a bowl. No pot. You hot heat it. You heat it, and then you, yeah, then you freeze it. If I said in freezer, uh, either in your refrigerator or yeah, I suppose sorry, in your freezer for like a day or several hours up to really till it's cold, and then you have it really. Uh, I suppose yeah. Also, you yeah, you have like you have just take it uh, after you you. Warm it. You take it uh, out on baking baking paper. So 
not really that tech company really. And yeah, I'll I'll write this down in W as well. And yeah, uh, so that's that really. Yeah, just go with the next question, which is sorry. Uh, offer to quarantine with. So which offer would I quarantine with? As for the character question, it's like all the offers, there's so many fun offers. I kind of think, actually I'm not going with Gail Carragher, because I kind of think she would be interesting and fun. I'm in her Facebook, Facebook um, words, uh, group. So she does also, often she does these lives with her Facebook group, and then she does sometimes lives on YouTube and stuff. And I just love her books, but also I love her, her style and her personality and just, I just love her. Not like love, love, but yeah, lo I really like her. And she knows a lot. She, she seems so endearing and charming and nice. So she's easy to relax to be with. She's been, she used to be an archaeologist. Archaeolo ah. She used to be the thing that Indiana Jones is. I write it down. Uh, so she's been a lot of places and she knows lots about its history. So that's fun. She knows a lot about fandoms and uh, yeah, they just be. She loves uh, board games and games and yeah, I think it will be fun together. I think it will be very fun. Let's move on to the next one. Two characters you would like to quarantine together. So two characters that I'm kind of unsure. Like there's two characters that are supposed to be in one house. If you this these two characters and you, I suppose anyway. Um, I'm thinking maybe. I'm thinking here, I actually haven't thought that much about it. Um, maybe, you know what, maybe Stephanie Plum, and old style uh, fandom as well, Stephanie Plum and uh, Primrose, Primrose, yeah, it's Primrose, something I just forgot about, Primrose Tunstall, Tunstall, that's her last name, yeah, Primrose Tunstall, they're from different eras, but that doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, it's just all hypothetical, really. Uh, they both have like a strong personality. Uh, like Stephanie is like very lucky. I suppose Primus is kind of lucky as well. And um, yeah, I think they would have fun together. They were uh, interesting talks, and um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'll go with those two. And the next question. Yeah, next question. This I've actually been kind of dreading the most. Um, the question is, uh, three favorite quotes, minimum. So, name three favorite quotes. Yeah, um, the book Mermaid, or oh, Annalisa, what, what are you thinking? It's me. It's supposed to be, yeah, really, it's supposed to, maybe you don't know this, but like, I love quotes. Absolutely love quotes. I've done two videos on quotes already, and that's on my channel. I'll link them in doobledoo. Uh, well, one on opening lines and one on quotes. I want to do more. I have maybe like 10 or I suppose maybe 20 quotes tagged on Goodreads. So uh, yeah, I'm asking me to choose free. Also like you're asking me to choose. You're not saying like name a favorite love quote or a fav favorite opening line or a favorite short quote or long quote. You're not you're really being specific. You're just saying quotes. I mean, how should I choose. I suppose I could just go from the uh, top of my head. Like, for example, Oscar Wilde's last words. Are you that wallpaper goes? Or I go? So good. He actually has a lot of good quotes, just like his by said it in his daily life. That's not from his works. And then secondly, uh, you should write a book. How to how to um, how to uh oh, what's the uh, quote again? How to uh, offend a woman in four wor words or less. I'll link in Dulu which film it's from. And also, well, it's not a pry bar. And that's from the Road to El Dorado. Uh, so yeah, as actually, yeah, so no, 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 maybe no, this, those two of those were actually from movies. You know what I'm gonna do? Actually, I'm gonna go to my Goodreads. I have my cell phone here, so I can just check it out. Uh, and I'm just gonna do the first quotes that I can find because, as I said, I love them. Uh, I suppose some of them are like, "I need you," 
but I suppose I think most of the quotes that I like tagged are like kind of good. So yeah, um, oh yeah, this person is yeah good. I decided that alchemists needed an entire department devoted to handling Edun Ivashko from Bloodlines, which I'm lead. You all know that probably. Um, then, uh, then you have one that's kind of nice and like impactful. The truth is messy. It's raw and uncomfortable. You can't blame people for preferring lies. By, Hol by Red Glow from Holy Black. Oh, from Red Glow by Holy Black. And then, uh, last one is one that's a bit more funny. Um, yeah, there's so many here. Okay, I'm just gonna choose. Well, I'm just gonna read. Nobody hopped into wardrobe to find Narnia. They hopped in thinking it was just a wardrobe. They didn't climb up the fairway, fairway tree knowing it was a fairway tree. The fall was just really big free, a, a really big tree. Harry Potter thought he was an old boy. Mary Poppins was supposed to be a regular nanny. It's the first and only rule. Magic comes when you're not looking for it. And that's from Geek Girl and Holy Smile. Uh, and the office Holy Smile. And uh, yeah, so... As I said, I have a lot, lot of favorite quotes. I love good quotes. I just love so much. But those are just one of the, yeah, good ones. And that's uh, those are one of the book quotes that I really enjoy. So yeah, and I'll link. As I said, I'll I'll name the books and the authors in Dublin, of course, of that as well, of course. And then we go to the latter end of the quote of the quote of the slide actually. So favorite color is the next question. I suppose um, if you're thinking like favorite color that like I like to feel like I if I see a dress that I need that dress because of the color, I would say it's light blue or like blue. I like uh, types of blue, but like mostly light blue, real like light blue. But I also uh, like if you're thinking like, hmm, I kind of want to give Renee something uh object then purple i really like purple like i like purple uh in like uh if like a book has a purple cover purple cover i'll adore it if uh, uh if a light like a candle is a purple i'll really like it so yeah but purple clothes is not really something i do that much so yeah so yeah it depends a bit and then we you move on us. Who would you cosplay as? Yeah, um, I really enjoy cosplay as in like as in ID. Uh, though I'm kind of <laughs> actually too lazy to actually do it. I suppose it kind of depends how you define it. But I've kind of often think that cosplaying you have kind of have to make your own costume. And uh, yeah, I knit, but I don't really sew. But I suppose sewing is just kind of just need a sewing machine. But like in my head. Making yourself own costume is just too much bother, too much work, really, in a way. Um, I do, I do like have some clothes that are kind of retro, like this one. So suppose in that way, I can like use those clothes, like to cosplay older, older characters, like characters like this could actually, in a way, be Nancy Drew, I suppose, or Miss Marple, or something like that. Um, so I suppose like if I'm allowed to just just use my own clothes. Yeah, I suppose I could actually do. I actually have one. One. Um, I have one dress in my house that's actually kind of reminding me of uh, Evil Odette or the the servant from the Swan Princess in the end. So it's the black dress. Uh, and yeah, I have a dress in that style. So and actually went once as that one. And I think actually yeah, I actually once dressed up as Veronica Marsh. So I kind of just had like this kind of tough look with this leather jacket and stuff. So I did that. But I suppose does count if you can possibly as contemporary characters because I suppose then you kind of need like a name tag to like be, be specific, like to be to be obvious about who you are. I suppose or maybe don't. I don't really know. But yeah, there's that. So yeah. Uh, Cosplay with booktube friends, who would you cosplay as? Again, I'm not really sure. I really like Annalisa's idea of 
uh, of uh, Irish um, Irish pirates or Celtic pirates. That really sounds very fun. I really like pirates. Um, I'm thinking cosplay us. Uh, uh, there's so many choices. I suppose if you're gonna do a group, maybe you know what? You know what? Actually, I we'll actually kind of did that in uh, my youth. It's I think I did. It. Yeah. I kind of think it would be fun, like, if you do know that old comic witch, it was from uh, Italy, it was from the early, early, early 2000s, I really like that one, and yeah, dressing up as one of those, and then how other people doing that, it would be very fun, though to me, like, the problem with this question, they say, like, who would you cosplay with your good, good with, no, booktube friends as, um, I suppose it depends how you define stuff, I don't think I've gotten that many books to friends really yet. I suppose, anyway, yeah, I would say I'm Lisa, it's kind of my friend. I suppose I'm just going to define her as that. That she tagged me personally. I'm so, so happy and so honored. And then there's also, uh, I keep always feeling her name, but then there's also the channel that's announcing in her channel smile. Well, that I'm Lincoln and Julie. And then uh, she commented back very early on, like, actually, even before I changed my name, I actually have. A different channel name in last year. I started in August and now yeah it's May or soon June. So yeah um other than that uh, Tatiana from Tatiana uh, something something I can't remember exactly your name. We kind of do a back and forth but not like very much I suppose. I'm not sure if it's just me being awful at being friends or making friends or if it's like just my bad luck if we just be being too bad at making friends or collecting friends, collecting friends, making them and establish friends, or it's if it's just um, unfriendable. No, I'm probably not unfriendable, but yeah, uh, that's that really. Uh, so yeah, let's just move on from that topic. Uh, and yeah, the penultimate question two of well, penultimate, it's actually not, but yeah. Uh, I just I'm doing more or less the same. Annalisa did it, so she forgot the one question for earlier. So I'm gonna do it now, as she did. Uh, so put two offers together that can that should quantify together. With this one, I'm also kind of unsure. Um, I suppose maybe maybe Derek Landy and Holly Smale because they both have the same humor, but they write different kinds of stuff. But I think. They're both kind of similar in some ways. I mean, I've ha discovered Holy Smell from Derek Lanning's vlog. And I think I may enjoy talking together, thinking together. Yeah, let's just say those two. And I'll link them, uh, of course, in the video. And the last question, last but not least, is any wish? Do we have any wishes? And I think the question is just like any wish, or I suppose maybe it's what does it like? Three wishes because at least I came with three. But I suppose maybe she did it, like overdid it. I'm not sure. Well, do save us her and do three. I'm thinking. Uh, I'm gonna do the one that's kind of impossible. Just like I mean, if you're gonna say any wish, I'll just have to do one impossible large one. Though instead of actually saying world peace, as is kind of the general answer to this one, I'm actually gonna say I want peace in the Middle East. As well as kind of not that much less cheesy, but yeah. Um, I actually went to Israel seven six years ago, and just seeing how the world, the country, is so divided, and how people are treated in Palestine and by the West End, West End, the West, by the by the wall, it's just so awful, so awful. Uh, I don't really like it at all. Uh, and why can people just? It should be possible to find some solution to it, but I suppose difficult. But yeah, I'm thinking that whole conflict, hopefully, it could be solved. Hopefully, that's what I'm thinking at least. And then I'm going for one smaller, but the, not in, not that possible, but less impossible. Uh, so I'm going more personal. <coughs> I'm gonna say that uh, either like I win the lotto or like I win money or somehow. and. I got a trip to Boston because Boston it's close to New York, so I can go to New York and the Strand and stuff. Also, Boston itself it's a historical city. I love histor history, 
uh, and Boston has actually the world's oldest public library, and the librarian in me loves to loves libraries, and of course I want to go to the oldest public library in existence in in like it's still active. I want to go there so much. It is so high on my on my top list on my words bucket list bucket list. I want to go there so much, and yeah, Boston. I think it would be very fun to go there, really. And I think I checked it out like a few a few weeks years ago or something like so like there's lots of fun stuff to do in Boston and yeah yeah and I actually also bought both a Lonely Planet book to Boston because like daydreaming I want to get, go there so so much and then lastly of course not not uh, not uh, not least um, I would say uh, is one smaller wish but still. I would say maybe that um, I had an idea and then I went away. Uh, that you know what? Yeah, mm, I suppose this is kind of also also kind of like cheating, but I'm just gonna say it uh, that the government makes chocolate free for the rest of the pandemic. I mean, wouldn't that that be cool? Hopefully, who knows? I suppose not really that. Likely, but it's kind of smallish and it's not impossible. I'm not sure, probably not. Uh, probably is, but yeah. But all in all, yeah, that's kind of my take on that question. And yeah, this was a fun time to do. I really liked it, I really enjoyed it. Who am I gonna tag? Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna tag. I'm not sure who I wanted to take. There's so many funny people. And I do the kind of weird thing out of all this. Yeah. Um I actually I think that's maybe that's kind of why I don't really have booktube friends because I always watch the biggest booktubers and they kinda of already have their like main click, main main friend friend group. And I like them and I, I do watch other the smallest ones as well, but yeah. Um you know what? I think it's supposed to be kind of difficult to know what less, but like I think I'm gonna tag uh oh my god, shall names is this thing again of course when you tag people you have to remember their names. Uh I can imagine her in my head, but I can't remember what she what her name is. Okay, I'll just I'll tag some people in the link in the doodoo and uh, hopefully you'll see it. And uh, yeah, so this has been fun to do. And yeah, this is me saying Renee. And Renee, uh, you know, actually, I'm gonna decide to stop my intro. Like, I used to say Renee out. So I've been like, that's too 90s. So I'm just gonna say Renee, and I'll see you later. <laughs>